Hey guys, Brickhead Studios here, back for another video, and today we're going to be looking at the set images for two new 2020 LEGO Star Wars sets. We have Luke's Land Speeder and Ben Kenobi's House. First, I'm going to start off with a rant about the Luke's Land Speeder set. Um, there was a set in 2017 by the same name. And it released for $20. Guess how much this costs? $30. $30 for th this terrible set. I mean, it comes with a bad selection of figures for this set. I mean, like, Luke and C-3PO, yeah, I think are fine. But then we have the Jawa here, which I don't think is needed. And we have the Jawa's hut. I mean... Or Jawa's uh, little rock thing he's hiding behind. I don't know what it is. But why does it need to be included in the set? It, are you trying to bump the price up Lego again? I mean, like these stupid weapon carts in the Star Wars sets. And now this build. I mean, Lego seems to be getting worse on the pricing. Because they include these crappy little side builds. That have... Pretty much nothing to do with the other build. And they just bump up the price and make it terrible. I mean, this set, I don't even know if it's better than the one that was released in 2017. I mean, you can see the grills in the front. I honestly like the brick belt portion better than the stickers. I mean, the stickers just make the, I guess, engine portion or whatever, they, they make it look flat. I mean, I do love the build for the turbines in the back, I guess. But, I mean, this isn't that much better. Or it might even be worse than the one released in 2017. Well, yeah, this is definitely worse because it comes with a bad selection of figures. This comes with three minifigures opposed to the four that came in the last set. I mean, I wouldn't say... The last set had the best selection of figures. I would have preferred an R2-D2 over the Tuscan Raider. But I mean, come on. Three figures and they bumped the price up uh, $10. I mean, I, this is terrible. I can't talk about it anymore. Okay, let, let's go to uh, Ben Kenobi's hut set. Or his home, I guess. Um, this set is actually good. I like the selection of figures. Um, this is probably why they didn't include Ben Kenobi and R2-D2 in the other set, because they're in here. But, yeah. Uh, they do include the Tuscan Raider in the set. They include the all-important blue milk in Ben Kenobi's house. We have the hologram of Princess Leia, which is kind of cool, that new mold there. And I, I do really like this build, as... Uh, if I would buy the set, I'm not sure because there's a lot of other sets that I might get instead. But it's still a nice set, unlike the Loose Land Speeder. I mean, I didn't even touch on that you can still buy the Loose Land Speeder set in most stores. I mean, just a couple of days ago, I was in Walmart and I saw this set. Uh, what? why you release another one i don't know it's terrible it should have been released maybe a few years later instead of this year i mean only three years difference and they didn't even sell all the copies of the set like the store is still selling them and you release it for ten dollars more i don't like it looks about the same size as the other set, and it's way more. I guess it does come with more pieces, but I honestly prefer the old one. So, I think that's it for my thoughts on these two sets. Um, the Luke's Land Speeder is terrible, and that's it for this video. Bye.